Today we're gonna to check out four AI tools that are going to help you in your design journey. And I'm gonna start with letsenhance.io. You're gonna to need to register first and it's gonna drop you into the program inside. All you need to do is just drag and drop the image here. And you can do a couple of things. You can remove backgrounds. Then you got the light AI. This is going to fix the lighting in your image, but I'm gonna uncheck the remove background right now. And then we got the tone enhancer. This is going to adjust the contrast and brightness on it. And then you also got the color enhancer. I'm gonna boost it and click on start processing and you can click on download. By the way, you also can check out here the adjustments it did. So we got the before, this was the resolution and then after it also upscaled it. Well, it seems like it did an HD HDR image because I boosted up too much, but you can experiment in there. There's like a really cool feature here. We've got the image generator. Click on it and check this out. You can type in prompts and we got advanced option here. So this is the fun part here. You don't need to type in the prompts. You just need to select one of these settings. So I'm gonna go with illustration and it's gonna write like illustration off. I'm gonna go again with pitbull with sunglasses. And then we're gonna scroll. Here we got the illustration style. I'm gonna select comic colors. I won't choose any of these because I don't like them. Aesthetics, let's go with cyberpunk. Point of view, you got close up, front, overhead, side. I'm gonna go with front. And here we got the detail level, high detail, the minimal. I'm gonna go with high detail, mood. I'm gonna go with energetic and I won't choose any of these artists. So click on generate. Oh wow, check this out. So we got like four really cool illustrations in here. They all look really good. I'm gonna go with this one, click to open. And you also can upscale the image by four times and get the image, one credit. Now it's processing, it upscaled to 4096 pixels. And let's see what we got. There you go. Look at this. The quality is pretty impressive though. Okay, so next we got an AI color generator, which became a little bit more popular. And this is the Chroma. All you need to do is click on get started. And it's going to put you on this page with a lot of colors. Now up here, you can see at the right top corner, 50 colors left, start training. So now here is written that choose a set of 50 favorite colors. Theoretically, you might say that you're gonna to need to pick like 50 colors and generate tons of variation, which is going to overwhelm you. But that's not the case. All you need to do is just select some of these colors that you like. Okay, so I'm gonna go with eight colors and I'm gonna go up here to the right corner, click on start training and I'm gonna click on leave. Now take that in mind, this won't work all the time because this is just a beta version. So it might have some errors. And here you can see a page with color contrast with the colors that you picked. And you can select some of these and click on swap colors. So it's gonna reverse it. On this page, you're gonna see how the colors are communicating with the text with background color and text color. And then you go on the top left corner where you can select here some options. So this was the first one, the typo. Second one is the poster. Here you can see the color combos. We got some pretty nice option here. And then we got gradient, check that out. And after that, we got images. Now this is basically the gradient map from Photoshop where you can combine two or more colors into a gradient like this. And then we got palette and it's gonna generate a lot of color palettes which look beautiful by the way. And up at least we got here on the top right, the bias. So if I decrease this one, it is gonna eventually increase the color contrast. And then we got the bias on the right side. I, I also gonna decrease this. For example, on these values, it is going to give you different results. And next we got remove.bg, where you can basically remove the background of the image. You just need to click on upload image, select your image, and it's gonna do its magic. Zoom, there you go. Here we can click on download and it's gonna download it on a small resolution. And then you got download HD, where you can get it on full resolution, click on download. As you can see, I cannot download it because I have zero credits, but this tool is perfect if you wanna remove the background from a lot of images and it can be super time consuming. And now but least we got fontjoy.com. Here you can test out the font contrast between different kinds of fonts. So we got like the primary title, then you got the secondary title, and not but least you got the text font. You also can rename them, and then you can click on generate, and it's gonna switch up the fonts, and you also can balance the contrast with these. I'm gonna increase and it's gonna bring like similar fonts in between the title, subtitle and the text font. So I'm gonna decrease it to have a high contrast. I'm gonna click on generate and it's gonna bring better results. You also can change up the fonts manually here. For example, I'm gonna go with this one. You also got the search bar here. You can type in Roboto and I'm gonna go with this. You also can switch up the color contrast so you can see it on a light background. 
So these were the four AI apps for graphic designers. And this was it. See you on the next one.